Voicemail is an important part of your phone system's capabilities. Some folks never mess with it, others like to set it and forget it, and some change their greetings every single day. No matter who you are, you should know how to set up, maintain, and listen to your voicemail, and that's what we're going to go over right now. I'm Mike with Iron Logics, and this is 3CX Voicemail Setup and Management. By the end of this video, you'll be able to navigate the 3CX voicemail system, record your name for the company directory, you'll be able to set up your voicemail no answer greeting, and finally you'll be able to manage your greetings and change them based on present status. So let's get started. You should have received a 3CX welcome email. It should look similar to this, minus all the black markouts. It has your extension and voicemail pin, which is really what we need for this video. It also has web client credentials and other useful stuff, so if you don't have this email, get with your system administrator and have them send it to you, or at the very least, give you what you need to continue on. I'll just wait for you here as long as you press the pause button. For those of you who do not have a desk phone and are using the computer or smartphone app, this video does assume your extension is provisioned and you're connected and ready to go. If this is not the case, please pause the video and click the link to watch our managing mobile call flow video to get your app set up before you continue back here. So the first thing we need to do in the voicemail system is record your name for the company directory. Why? Well, if you don't, the dial by name directory won't work for you, which really means someone searching for you using the dial by name feature won't be able to find you, which essentially means you don't technically exist. Well, we can't have that, so let's fix it right now. Assuming you have your voicemail pin, let's connect to the voicemail system itself. On your desk phone, you probably have a message key with an envelope on it. If you're using a 3CX soft phone on a computer or your smartphone, you can get to the exact same place by dialing extension 999. Go ahead and do that now, and you should hear the system attendant request your PIN. Please enter personal identification number, then press pound. Enter your PIN number, and then press the pound key, or the hashtag if you're one of those millennial type folks, followed by option 9. Now as far as this video goes, this is as far as I'm going to take you through listening to the system prompts. The system attendant, while absolutely lovely, will read out all your prompts in a very slow and deliberate manner. While it's my job to train you, I also want to keep you awake and watching also. If you really want, you could take some time now to listen to all the options. However, in a sincere effort of saving you from that experience, we're going to cheat. Oh my god, look at all these words. Please relax, I'm not going to make this death by PowerPoint and read all this stuff off. This is my cheat sheet with all the voicemail system options. It's here for you to take a screenshot so that you can quickly navigate through the options and do the things you need to do as a new user. If you do not know how to take a screenshot, bust out your cell phone and take a picture of the screen so you can pull it up later for reference. Go ahead and pause the video so you can do that right now. So now that you have your cheat sheet picture ready, let's continue the voicemail system. Hit option 9 and then use option 5 to record your name for the company directory. Simply state your first and last name and press pound and zero to save it. If you get tongue-tied or otherwise messed it up, that's okay. Either hang up and repeat the process or use the other options within that menu to re-record your name. Go ahead and pause the video now while you do this step. The next thing we're going to want to do is change your no answer greeting from the robotic sounding default. To do that, you go right back into the voicemail system again, hit option 9, and this time you're going to use option 8 to manage your greetings. Have that cheat sheet picture ready and let's record your no answer greeting. In case you're wondering what you should say, Try to keep it short and to the point. Good phone etiquette is paramount to delivering a good customer service experience. Keep in mind most people just hear blah 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 and are just listening for the beep anyway. Your greeting should sound similar to this. Hey, you've reached Mike with Iron Logics. I'm either on the other line or have stepped away from my desk. Please leave me a detailed message and I'll return your call as soon as possible. Go ahead and pause the video now to knock that out. Feel free to explore the other options such as changing your PIN, but know that unless your system admin changed some things, your PIN and password are unique to you and to your extension. There really should not be any reason for you to give out this information unless your employer absolutely mandates it. Now I know what you're thinking. What if you're out sick or on vacation? Who's going to get those voicemails? Don't worry. We do talk about forwarding, call flow, and extension management in the next video, which is going to take care of all that kind of stuff. I highly encourage you to watch that video and adopt those practices, particularly the ones relating to call forwarding when you're away from an extended period of time. The 3CX phone system is a very powerful platform and caters to all kinds of users. It's actually a bit challenging to tailor the training to meet the needs of everyone from a tech savvy specialist to a traditional phone just ringy ringing kind of user. 
but I'm here to tell you both types of users are completely okay and can manage and use this phone system just fine. If you're one of my traditional style users, the only thing I ask you to do is please watch the videos on the web client. You don't have to use it, and that's okay, but I think you're going to see the value in the tool to help you and your company manage your call flow more effectively. So I bet you're wondering, how do you get your voicemails? Well, it depends on what options you and your system administrator have actually set up. But just so you know, there are four options for voicemail delivery. The first one is kind of easy. Voicemails just show up on your phone and app, and that's it. On a desk phone, you should have a blinking red light, depending on what desk phone you actually have. On the soft phone or app, you're going to see an envelope icon either show up at the top right or the top left of your screen. You then manage and listen to your messages exclusively on your phone using the voicemail system attendant menu or through your computer or smartphone. Option two simply is horrible. It sends you an email letting you know you have a voicemail on. It doesn't give you the voicemail, it just lets you know, hey, you got one. This is like knocking on somebody's door and running away. It's terrible. Option three keeps the voicemail on your phone and sends you an email with the voicemail attached so you can listen to it. Now we're getting somewhere. This is a cool option, but please understand that while the phone system can send you an email with your voicemail attached, it has no way of knowing you've listened to and then deleted that email. So that means you're going to eventually have to come back to the phone and delete it in there too. The last option is pure voicemail to email. This system is going to send you a voicemail as an attachment and then clear it out of the system. Unless your email service is really crappy, this is the one people choose to take the most. You will have one of these four options set up by default. If you don't know which one you actually have, grab your cell, call your extension, and leave yourself a voicemail and then see what happens. If you don't like your set option, get with your system administrator and have it changed. If you're a client of IronLogix, simply call us or email support at ironlogix.com and we're going to take care of you. If you happen to be on option one, which is no voicemail to email at all, and you want to check your voicemail from outside the system, you simply can call in the office from outside and when you hit the auto attendant, dial extension 999 from the menu. You will be prompted for your extension and your PIN and you should be on your way from there. If you do not have any kind of system attendant, then you will need to be manually transferred there by someone who happens to be in the office. If nobody's there, there's not going to be any way for you to transfer to the menu, and then you're not going to be able to get your voicemails until somebody's there the next day. From a productivity standpoint, that method really stinks, so my hope is that you select another one of the voicemail options instead. Now, if you happen to play around with the other buttons on the 3CX soft phone or the web client, you probably saw an area where you can record and manage your voicemails and voicemail greetings right from the app. If you don't have, haven't tried, or don't want to use a soft phone or web client, don't worry. As far as the training goes, you can do 100% of what's covered without using a web or soft phone anything. One of the things you can do with the system is record different greetings and associate them with your different statuses. The easiest way to do that is by using the web client or the soft phone app because you can visually see what you're doing very quickly. You can call in the system attendant and switch your statuses that way, but let's face it, the apps are just faster and easier to work with, and you should really familiarize yourself with how they work. So let's briefly go through and do that right now. Now I do go over the web client extensively in our forwarding and extension management video. So in the interest of time, I'm going to illustrate the greeting management using the different flavors of the soft phone apps. For this video, the computer app is on the right and the smartphone app is on the left. They look and operate very similarly, but there are differences and you're going to see those right here. On the computer app, click the voicemail button at the bottom. On the soft phone, you need to click the more button followed by the voicemail option. The default view will show you your voicemails. Here you can manage and listen to your voicemails by selecting each of them, but what we're really looking to do is manage your status greetings. On the computer app, there should be a folder with a music note at the bottom. On the smartphone app, this icon will be at the top left. Go ahead and select that now. Here you can see the five different statuses indicated by the colors. You have the default greeting which, if you do nothing else, will play for all the statuses no matter what you set. These statuses are in order, available, away, do not disturb, lunch, and business trip. Now the last two can be renamed with the help of your system administrator, but we're not going to go over that right here. What we are going to go over is how to record an additional greeting so that you can then associate it to one or more of these statuses. To do that from the computer app, simply click the record button next to the status you'd like to change. On the smartphone app, there's only one record button at the top right. Select the appropriate record button for your platform and then give the file a name. Click OK and then the system will call your extension so you can actually make that recording. Record what you want to say, hit pound and then zero to save if you're happy with it, and then the system will return you to the greeting selection screen. Using the drop down for the status you want to change, find and select the greeting you just made and you're done. Now all you need to do is set your extension status and the system will play the appropriate greeting when somebody calls you. Setting your status with either of the apps is really easy. On the computer, simply use the drop down under your name. On the smartphone app, touch the colored square in the top right of the screen. 
Admittedly, that square is kind of tough to select sometimes, but if you do it right, it should look like this. Simply select the status you want to set, and you're done. You can call into the voicemail system, and by following the system prompts, do the same thing. I hope you can see, however, that by managing your extension via the apps, it's much easier, especially once you do it a few times. Folks, if you like this video, you're going to love what we can do to make your system run more productively. Please subscribe. It really helps us out, and we'll be adding more training videos as time goes on. Don't forget to watch our other 3CX training videos. I do my best to keep it short, and they will help you get the most out of your very awesome phone system. Until next time, thanks for watching.